uh, Jeff kind of explained what the whole thing was. I guess why don't you guys kind of explain for people just kind of get the side of it. So uh, Jeff and I were talking at an AD meeting right before the state turn, and uh, we said we should do some kind of governor's challenge, mayor bet kind of thing like they do with college sports, professional sports. And as we talked, we just really the only idea that came up was well, well maybe serve lunch at each other's school. And uh, so it's, that's why we're here today. And uh, it's, uh, it's fun. I mean, it was kind of a fun experience just to have a conference rival you know, in the state tournament and playing them for the state championship. And uh, you know, Scott was uh, broadcasting in the uh, games uh, for Channel 45 for the online broadcast. And John Kaplan, the principal from Waterville, Legion Morristown, was uh, Waterville's kind of. Uh, color man also and during the course of the of that match there Scott said well I gotta be Ed's bodyguard and extended the bet to uh, to include those guys too to come here. So. Well you know it was an epic game. I mean uh, it was a great volleyball match between two local conference schools in the state tournament. That doesn't happen all the time or very much at all. And uh, so Mr. Kaplan and I there's 15 points to go for the state title and we said hey let's uh, let's do the same bet that our ADs did and uh, we can't have uh, one person from our school going to each period from each other's schools, we gotta have a team and that's what we're here for one day. But it, it just shows that sportsmanship is strong. It also goes to show that there's a connection between Faribault, Waterville, you know, between the two schools and Bethlehem Academy and, and that uh, there's lots of families that have connections to both schools and both communities and uh, and what what you know, what better way to celebrate, you know, you know, Waterville celebrating their state championship. Our volleyball girls have had great success at the state volleyball tournaments and state championships. And, uh, and this is just a way to show support to both communities. It's, it's great for the, you know, both schools. It's great for the Gopher Conference. Uh, you know, it, it's a wonderful story for, you know, Waterville Legion Morristown celebrating their very first ever girls state tournament team, state championship. And you know, it'll be a fellow Gopher Conference team. Uh, it's, just, it's just great. And, you know, and we, I think we have a really good conference. All the coaches, ADs, administrators, we do a lot of things together. We get, you know, we really enjoy working together. So, you know, to us, you know, we're all kind of that same group, like one big picture of, uh, kind of like a super large school district to me. You know, we're all doing the same things, trying to accomplish the same things. Well, and, and everybody, it just shows respect for, for the, the players, the coaches, and, uh, you know, competition is, is hard enough, and uh, we're just proud of the girls from both schools and their state tournament uh, appearances and also their, their championships, and, and, uh, and just glad to be here and, you know, take part in the, the celebration. How many more of these governor bets do you guys anticipate on doing now? Try to get these guys back to back to Faribault. Uh, well, <laughs> that depends on how hard those kids work. It's up yeah, to the kids. That's to get right. Back it's there. up to the kids. <laughs> I'm not very good at placing bets. So. <laughs> All right.